Hello everybody out there. Today we are going to open up some PSA returns, particularly autographs. So I have opened the box. The box is. And I've cut the tape, but I haven't looked through these yet. So it should be pretty good. Um, I do know that we sent 40 cards off and we got 40 authentic autograph grades. So that is not a surprise to me, uh, mostly because these were, some of them were already certified. Some of them were cards that we sent to private signings, which we did a little bit more of during the pandemic. And we sent some off to foundations and different things like that everything and so a lot of these are hall of famers and if, yes there are a few new cards either hall of famers or rangers um, i know i like the rangers and um we're gonna have a quite a few um sandbergs and nolan ryan's why is that, Nolan? Because that's who we're that's who we're named after. That's who you guys are named after, like it or not. But um, so we'll start with a nineteen. Do you know what year that is? Um, this is nineteen ninety two. Oh, close. It's ninety three. Um, nineteen ninety three tops. Ryan Sandberg. So we're trying to. Uh, we obviously Ryan's at school right now. Mm -hmm. Nolan's on quarantine because you're exposed, but you tested negative. Congratulations today. So you get to make this video with that. Um, so we are trying to get a run of Sandberg and Nolan Ryan and maybe even Cole Hamels. So that was Authentic Auto, um, 1989 Tops. I want to see what we get the most of, Ryan Sandberg or Nolan Ryan. Um, I think okay. for now it's going to be probably Sandberg. It's a little bit less expensive autograph, easier to acquire. Uh, there's a 1988 Tops, uh, Ron Sandberg. There is the 1991 Tops, Ron Sandberg. Um, and anybody who's asking, uh, we sent these in just a couple months ago. This is PSA shut down, but they're still taking autos. So they're not, I guess you could probably get your autos graded. I think the authentication is really the, for me, it's a big thing. But here's Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Was um, he a Hall of Famer for the White Sox? He went in as a White Sox, was primarily known as White Sox. But what I like about him, besides the fact he's a Hall of Famer, a lot of people disagree with his ability to be a Hall of Fame. But uh, you see this card itself, it's not in the best shape. Um, this, one of his only tops cards is a Ranger. Um, he wasn't there long. They traded um, some guy named Sammy Sosa for him. Um, but uh, I like that uh, he's a Hall of Famer, and I like the Hall of Famer in the Rangers jersey. Again, I grew up in Texas, so I'm a Rangers fan. Speaking of Hall of Famers, not really known as Rangers, but signed. Uh, here's a Vladdy Guerrero Sr. So that's his, uh, you know, his son is, right? Yeah. He's kind of uh, kind of well-known. Uh, this is him in his Rangers uniform. 2011 Tops is probably one of my favorite uh, Tops years. Um, so anyways, Authentic Auto, we had sent that one off. Here's a big one. Ricky, Ricky Rookie. Rookie. So, pretty interesting. Um, I assume that's kind of how he signed back in 1979. He sure signs really uh, very similar to that now. So, got a Ricky Rookie um, with his autograph on it. Pretty cool. So, we'd sent this off um, to a uh, private signing and got that done. Oh, you want to introduce this one? Mm -hmm. I'll introduce this stack. Oh, you'll introduce that stack? Yeah. All right. We have our first Nolan Ryan, so 1971 Tops card. Again, the condition of the card uh, isn't uh, the best, so it he wasn't a great one to. Really sign the same. No, he doesn't sign quite like he did. This is 2021 signature, and that is 1970, 71. Whenever he signed, I don't know if that's a contract they signed with Tops or, um, but no, he definitely doesn't sign the same way as he did then. So. But uh, what I like about the Ryan signatures is the sticker, the foundation puts a Nolan Ryan sticker on there. That makes it very easy to authenticate. Speaking of Nolan Ryan, looks like we're gonna have a few more Nolan Ryans in here. 
Uh, this is 1970 top, Snow and Ryan. So pretty cool. I think we've already shown off our 68 and 69 autographed uh, top Snow and Ryan. 68 his rookie? 68 was his rookie, Jerry Kuzman, who's another good pitcher. Um, but uh, very cool. We've got some uh, Nolan Ryan cards at his foundation right now. This is a card you pulled. You remember pulling this card? Mm -hmm. Last Wait, summer. Is that my card? That is your card. Oh. Last summer, Nolan pulled this card out of a pack of 1987 tops. It's on our channel somewhere. And uh, we sent it off to Mark, Big Mac. Uh, he had a private signing, got it signed. So pretty cool. Yeah, Nolan, you want that in your display case, don't you? Yeah. Here is. Again, if you got some good old Nolan Ryan cards, this one, you, it's hard to tell, it's got a crease on it. Um, it's not really gonna grade too high. Um, it's a good one to send off and get signed. Um, so we did that with this one. There's Nolan, signed this 1972 Tops card. Pretty iconic card. Um, and uh, has the foundation in the back. And I learned something new. Sent this one uh, to Nolan to get signed. Uh, 1979 Tops. And the signature itself, um, isn't it? It's hard to tell maybe. So it's, it's bled a little and uh, I did a little bit of research um, before I sent these off but apparently not enough um, but when I got this one back from Nolan's foundation uh, looked at looked it up and um, I guess there can be some wax um, that stays on these cards and so when someone signs them like that it can cause that bleeding so I think there's some ways to clean that wax off. It's worth checking if you're gonna send some old cards to get signed um, anyways, uh, like that one, 1979 tops. We have another Nolan, uh, 1975 tops. So again, the card's not in the mess condition, but the signature's on it. It's always interesting to see. He, we sent these a lot of them at the same time to see where he signed on there. Um, I don't know uh, if he picks for a sign or they just point and tell him where to sign. Be interesting to know. But I'd love to add these Nolans to her. And my favorite Nolan Ryan tops card. It's very first range. It's very first as a Ranger. 1989 Tops traded. So that's a good looking card. Um, I had a big stack of these. Um, we sent some off to PSA to be graded. So be interested to see what they come back. They are good looking cards. Uh, the centering will be the only question. So that is uh, that may be my, my favorite Nolan Ryan signature that we got so far. And another Nolan Ryan. So this is 1990 Tops. For a second Again. I thought it said Nolan Rock. I don't know why. Card number one. His, his autograph? No, it is the name on the, the name bottom. Or the name on the bottom. So, yeah. Pretty cool looking card. It's a really good looking card. Especially for 90 Tops. That may be the best looking 90 Tops card. I might be biased. I mean, I did name someone after. And if you don't know who Ryan Duran is, uh, you probably haven't watched most of our show, our channel. I know who he is. Who was the guy who was who was like Ryan? So Ryan Sandberg was named after this guy, and yep. Ryan was named after Ryan Sandberg. Ryan, I think it's the most pure baseball name. Uh, Ryan Sandberg's parents were big Ryan Duran fans, and so they named Ryan Sandberg after Ryan Duran. Um, and then Ryan Duran was pretty much a closer before closers were a thing. He uh, won some big games, nineteen. 58 World Series, I think, he pitched in. Um, had a big win, had some saves. But uh, he's also, uh, many people don't know this, he is the inspiration for Ricky Vaughn, Wild Thing. Um, people were afraid of him because they said he couldn't see very well and he threw really hard. Um, he was really wild, he was the original Wild Thing. And um, there was an article where the guy who wrote Wild Thing, or wrote Major League, the movie, um, said that Ryan Dern was her inspiration. So pretty cool. Um, Joey Gallo, that's our Ryan's favorite player. Um, unfortunately, he was traded to the Yankees, which is probably uh, one of our least favorite teams, at least me and Ryan. Um, but anyways, that's his rookie card with his autograph on it. I don't like so, the Yankees either. No one doesn't like the Yankees either. Here's another Hall of Famer in his Rangers jersey, um, Goose Gossage. Um, so, uh, really cool looking classic signature. I remember Goose, the Walrus. Um, he uh, was a really good pitcher. Why he was. called the Walrus, but it's, it's, oh, it's name the mus like it. mustache is Walrus. Sorry, he's not. I don't think he's called the Walrus. He was called Goose. Goose was his nickname. 
Here's another 1988 uh, Ryan Sandberg. Again, uh, almost got most of the tops run on Sandbergs. Uh, we already had his rookie, uh, his 83 tops done. Here is one of my all-time favorite players, and this one's a little bit thicker, so pretty interesting. Um, probably because the card is thicker. So Adrian Beltre, this was already a, um, a top certified autograph. Um, for me, I got it slabbed just because I'm going to display some of these, and um, I thought it was a good way to uh, make it look a little bit better, a little cleaner, uh, protect it. It's not going to really jive with the rest of those. Here is Ryan Sandberg, 1990 tops. So, again, it's got a little issues with the cards, but got his auto on it, so it makes it pretty cool. We've got another Sandberg. 1986 tops. So we'll have to put together a video, maybe with Ryan. That'd probably be more appropriate, wouldn't it? Of the uh, Sandberg run. And then we've got 1987 tops. So just. This is my, that's my favorite color of the year. Like that I've seen. So far, favorite Sandberg. You like the Cubs logo and the wig green? Yeah, I like the wig green. All right. You want to do this other stack right here? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's test you to see if you know what. Uh, What's important? What's cool about some of these And so this is Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez. Wait, is that? Is, I don't know. Ivan Rodriguez is the one in the Hall of Fame. Ivan Rodriguez is the Hall of Fame. Now, Juan Gonzalez, tilt it just a little bit because that window is, I guess, the sun where it is today. What's okay. cool about that Juan Gonzalez card is, do you know what year that is? Um, it is 2001, I'm pretty sure. Close. 2001 is green. So if you look at the bottom, you see 1997. So 1998, this is 1998 tops. You know what's cool about Juan Gonzalez in 1998? Did he get the seventh no header catch, I think? No, no, he won the American League MVP. So that's why I've got, I like the fact that it's, he's a Rangers Hall of Famer, but uh, he won the American League MVP that year. So it's got his uh, signature on the same year he won the MVP. So there is- Cole Hamels. Cole Hamels. And uh, what's great about Cole Hamels? He's named after my littlest brother. He's named after your brother? <laughs> or your brother's named after him? My littlest brother's named after him. Back right when we thought Cole Hamels was a lock for the Hall of Fame, that's when we had Cole. Our Cole. But that's a uh, that's going to be probably an easier tops um, run to make that we're going to try to do. So Cole Hamels, uh, authentic auto. So not going to make the Hall of Fame probably now, but still. Cool card to have. Speaking of Hall of Famers. Ivan Rodriguez. Ivan Rodriguez. And that is his uh, PSA post-war Hall of Fame rookie. Um, is why I got that one uh, autographed. Sent that one to a private signing. Got quite a few Pudge Rodriguez's. So Hall of Famer uh, rookie card. So pretty cool. Another Hall of Famer. Another Hall of Famer. Now... You guys weren't with me, I don't think, but I pulled that rookie out of uh, some 1991 Tops traded out of a box. So I pulled that. That's his Tops rookie. And uh, we sent that off and had him sign it. Another. Another one. But this one is 1997. Um, I think. No, close. Wait, no. It is 1999. Why do they look so so much alike? So, you see the 1998. That was the Juan Gonzalez. That's the 1999. If you want to show it, you see the difference. So, the difference is subtle. Um, the name is over here. The name on this one is down there. But do you know what happened to Pudge Rodriguez in 1999? What? He won the American League MVP. And so I wanted to have his autograph on a 1999 card. That's why we got that one. Oh, here's a big dog right here. Acuna Jr. Acuna. So I did a video where I pulled this card. And uh, we sent this card in to a private sign. Uh, it was not cheap. But uh, we got Acuna. This is obviously before he got hurt. Um, he signed this back in right around spring training, I think. So pretty cool on his rookie. 
So hopefully that's a card that'll come back. And there's another one. And there it is says another it's one. Chrome. So in case you didn't know what Ronald Acuna's autograph looked like, that's it. Um, he's got a little brother playing in the Ranger system right now, Luis Angel. Acuna. So, all right, talking about Hall of Famers who are Rangers, in particular Rangers Hall of Famers. That's this next one. Just a second. Yeah, it's stuck in it. It's Mr. Ranger, although he's not in his Rangers uniform there. That's uh, Tom Greaves' rookie card. So Tom Greaves was longtime general manager, played for the Rangers, was an original Ranger, played for Ted Williams. And um, I love listening to his broadcast. He really, he barely gets on every once in a while now, uh, does a few weekends a year as a color commentator, but uh, he's Mr. Ranger. So pretty cool uh, autograph to have. And speaking of broadcasters and guys who are in the Rangers system, this is Hawk Harrelson. You ever heard of Hawk Harrelson? No. So Ken Harrelson, he signed at Ken Harrelson. Hawk, um, he is a broadcaster, a famous broadcaster for the White Sox in the Hall of Fame as a broadcaster. Um, and he says, you can put it on the board, yes. He's like the White Sox guy. I like that card because although it's not in a Rangers uniform, it was in the range, what became the Rangers system. Um, this is a great card, Juan Gonzalez. Uh, I got that card signed in person, um, probably 1990 or 91. And I went to a Ruben Sierra signing and he just brought his buddy along. His buddy was named Juan Gonzalez. Nobody really knew him. I knew him because I was like your age, 10, 11, somewhere in that vicinity. And uh, I happened to have uh, a bunch of my cards there. And I had one of the only Juan Gonzalez cards there. So I gave it to him and got him to sign it. So. That was a special card to me. That's one I've had, obviously, since the inception. Juan Gonzalez, not gonna make the Major League Hall of Fame, but. And speaking of that autograph signing, Ruben Sierra. So got that one, I uh, got Sierra in person a long time ago. Um, that is also Sierra's rookie card. And I can't remember, is that a Tiffany? No, that's just a regular uh, 87 tops. So he's also a Rangers Hall of Famer. He's a really good player. And another Major League Hall of Famer, who's really known as a Chicago Cub. Yeah, I like wish that. he was in a Chicago Cubs jersey. Well, I got him uh, on his Rangers jersey. So he's got a beautiful signature, um, really good, durable, uh, great pitcher. A Canadian, um, but there, that's in his Rangers uniform. So Rangers Hall of Famer, again, I like the Rangers, so I want to be able to display the Rangers Hall of Famers as best I can in their Rangers gear. And so we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Step. Yep. Now they come when you get them from PSA. We've got another Hall of Famer in his Rangers gear, a Gaylord Perry. So, pretty sweet card. Um, famous for doctoring baseballs. So, I say famous, but. Um, People say he's done that. So, all right, good looking card. I like Gaylord Perry. I like our Major League Hall of Famers. And another one, Bert Bly Levin. So, not known as a Ranger, probably more as a Angel. Minnesota Twin. Oh, I thought it was an Angel. I think he was with the Angels for a while too. So, um, but he was a Ranger. And that's his auto in one. Here's another good private signing of a Hall of Famer. On his rookie card, it is a 1990 Leaf, Frank Thomas. So we got some packs of 90 Leaf. You're gonna be trying to pull that card. Good looking card, I think. We move on to 84 Tops, Ryan Sandberg. So that's in our run of Top Sandberg Autos. So we have a few more to get, uh, but we're close. And another one. Last one out of our 40, Ryan Sandberg, 1985 Tops. That's a good looking card too. So glad to have uh, glad to have that one. So what do you think, Nolan? What's your favorite card that we looked at today? Probably one of the Nolan Ryans. Probably one of the Nolan Ryans. Um, I really do like that 1970 and 72 Tops Nolan Ryan. So thank you to everybody who watched our uh, PSA reveal. And I guess we'll see you next time, you think? Mm-hmm.
Peace out, everybody.